is going to be run on your ranch. Does this give you an advantage? I've been uh, working hard to get the route sorted out and uh, I must admit knowing where it goes does help a bit but uh, there's some very fierce riders out there and the nice thing about riding around taping it is I've seen just how good some of these guys are. Yeah. And I understand some of the guys from MTC have been practicing an awful lot so I don't think I'll have that much of an advantage at the end of the day. Talking about practice, how have you been uh, preparing for this event? Well, I've uh, really sorted out my lifestyle. I'm looking at uh, what I'm eating. I'm drinking a lot of water and I'm trying to do a lot of exercise. So a couple of press-ups every day. I'm riding the bike and uh, just trying to maintain a lot of uh, good physical condition so I can go into this event and really last the five hours that's expected of me. Now, you, have, you, have, you haven't been seen riding competitively of late. Are you feeling sufficiently ready for this event? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I love the longer, more drawn-out events because that's more of a mind game rather than just pure speed. That's consistency. That's endurance in action. And I feel I can do much better at that than I could in something like a motocross, which is all over in 20 minutes. So I really look forward to two weeks' time to really be able to test myself. Now, there's, there are a lot of aggressive riders coming up, especially from down south. A lot of great competition. And uh, it also seems like it's going to be a wet event. How are you going to attack it? Well, I think if it's wet, we're going to have to be quite careful in the rivers. But the great thing about it is it'll keep the dust down. So around the back of the course, I think it'll be a lot closer racing. Uh, the only problem is if there's too much rain, make the rocks really slippery. It'll be like marbles rolling over each other. So we hope that maybe the rain's not too extreme and the river goes down a bit, but not so dry that it makes dust. Now, finally, what will be a good result for you? Oh. I'm looking at coming in the top five. So I hope I can keep my fingers crossed. And, but I know as long as people have fun, I think that's the best result of the lot. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right.